Professor Johnson, I understand that you suffered a stroke while in the process of writing your book, The Right Questions. Could you tell us what effect this experience had on your thoughts? I wasn't very far along with the book at all when I had this stroke. In fact, I was thinking of abandoning the project and returning the advance. After I had this stroke, it was harder to write. That is, it was harder to type. Uh, but I had more to write about. And then, soon after that, came the 9-11 terrorist attack, and I had still more <laughs> to write about. So the, the two catastrophes, the first catastrophe, the stroke, and the second, the terrorist attack, f framed uh, the uh, book. Uh, the, each of them represented instances where you have to go back and rethink what your faith is. What is the solid rock on which we stand? Or are we perhaps resting on the shifting sand which is dissolving from under us? We have to go back to first questions and decide what our ultimate standpoint is. What what is our faith commitment? So that's the effect that those two catastrophes had on the book. It turned me in that direction. Do you believe that your experience has been, in some sense, an answer to a prayer you would have never prayed? The stroke experience? Has, yeah. Well, I uh, have uh, told a little joke. I became uh, fascinated with the book of Job uh, in the hospital, not because I wanted to complain about why did this happen to me, why do bad things happen to good people, uh, if I am a good person, uh, but uh, I, I, on, on the contrary, I sort of thought, well, I could imagine uh, Satan saying to God, as he does in the prologue to Job, uh, Philip Johnson uh, worships you and honors you because he's always been fortunate. Uh, let me touch his brain, and you will see uh, uh, what he is really like. And I could imagine all uh, saying, do it. Let him do it. Otherwise, I will never know who I really am. And, and the, the experience of fighting through that uh, stroke and, and recovery has certainly been an, an enormous spiritual uh, experience and transformation so that I have gone through a bit of a personality change that uh, seems to be even for the uh, uh, better. Uh, thus, uh, I've found meaning in affliction. I can't say that that is this true for all the people in all afflictions, but I do know that it is true for many if they have the faith to find it.